I was a superintendent in a large district in Florida for a number of years, and um, I saw this kind of wave of distrust coming from parents. We had worked really hard with our 18,000 teachers to have them understand why we were changing and raising standards. So we spent a lot of time talking about the why. Why should we do this? Then we realized we had left parents out of that discussion. Parents basically want their kids to be successful. You know, they don't walk, want them to walk out of high school with a diploma and then realize when they go into um, a community college or a university that they have to take some kind of remedial courses. You know, who wants that? The reality is they're paying for a remedial course that they should have had that knowledge and learning when they were in high school. So, I, I mean, just from all around, it's not a positive thing. So. I think, it's, um, I think it's really important that we go back and we rethink and double down our efforts in communication, but also not just communicate the exact thing that we've been doing that hasn't necessarily been accepted or thought to be reasonable. I think we need to review the standards. I think we need to review the assessments and we need to review how they connect um, we had one of the practitioners today said they need to get the scores back quickly. That's absolutely right, right? So if you're a teacher, the most effective thing for you to know is how your students did after you taught them for a week on a single unit. Just take that as an example. You need, they need to know, the teachers need to know whether they got that through to their kids because if you're in a spiraling curriculum, most courses that's part of it then you've got to be able to know what you should go on to or whether you know, need to go back and reteach. And so um, one of the ways to do that is to have computer-based testing. Now, you can imagine the, the complications of doing state assessments um, in a computer-based environment, but it's really important. So that means that we've got to have teachers using technology in their classrooms in a normal way, not, oh, it's a special day today, we get to use something. It's, this is a normal thing for us to do. That is going to take a heavy lift. But when we get there, then you can quickly get back the data from these assessments, and then you can say, I had a class for this year, and here's what I did really well by standard, hooked to, um, each of the areas within that standard and you should be able to then say this is where I need to go to really improve. When we get them back later, it makes it much harder to do that. You have embedded assessments in your, in your classroom lessons and those embedded assessments give you that feedback but we also need to use the state assessment in a productive way and the quicker that we get it back, the more relevant it is. So those are areas that we really have to as a state. And, and again, these are things that aren't unique to New York, but we have to move that direction so that we take advantage of the technology that's available and we can ultimately have that be a seamless thing. And this whole thing of spending you know, enormous amounts of time on test prep, okay, so the big issue is we don't have enough time with our kids as it is. We have to have that be as productive as possible and I'm not sure how much a test prep is going to be productive for students. And so I think we have to rethink that and that whole idea of uh, getting ready for the assessment. Yes, there's reviews. Yes, you might do something so kids know when they see the test how they would answer the questions easily, that's going to be a whole different thing if they're on computers. So there are lots of things that we have to do. We, we are in a process. We, aren't, we shouldn't expect that it's going to be done um, over a period of time very quickly. Um, change is difficult and especially the sea change that we're expecting. But it is a productive thing to do and ultimately it is the thing that will support our student success. And so we've got to get there. I mean, that's why we're all in this business as it is. 
We aren't doing this for the adults. We're doing this so we can have students be successful. So we've got to figure it out, and I, I believe we can do that. And I'm very excited to be part of that in New York State. And I just want to 